Hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Data. So we have some big news to talk about today. Um, as we can see here, the market is up green again, which is great news. Um, you know, for a while we had a tumble and I was talking yesterday in one of my live streams, um, you know, I think we could have possibly hit the bottom whenever Bitcoin went to $7,900. So uh, right now, you know, we have Bitcoin up 7.5% up to $9,291. Looking at trading view here, this is hourly chart on Bittrex. And we can see here that, um, you know, once it bounced off of that uh, $7,900 level, uh, we also almost had this double bottom here, you can see at about the 8,300 level. And then from there, it broke over 9,000 and it's hovering about 9,300. So the next resistance point um, is about, you know, 9,400. We can see it three times here. It's tried to hit above that and it's failed. So keep an eye on this level. And then from there, breaking over 10,000, um, then we can almost solidify, you know, a reversal and a continued rally up. But I'm looking for another green day tomorrow. As long as that FUD stays to minimum, then uh, we'll see Bitcoin continue to rally. So looking at other coins, uh, we have Ethereum. Good to see it's back on the upside again, almost above a thousand at 970. Um, Ripple's leading us a little higher at 93 cents. Bitcoin Cash at 1288. Cardano 44 cents, up 23 percent. So it fell pretty hard. So. Um, you know, it's reasonable to see it actually climbing uh, more than the others. But what I want to talk about today is Litecoin, actually. So Litecoin's up 24% up to $158. So a lot of you may, may be wondering what's the reason for Litecoin rising so much versus the others because it's been kind of quiet lately. Well, there's an article that came out today and it says huge Litecoin announcement, game changer, LightPay to launch in days. So for those who don't know what LightPay is, um, basically, it's a payment system where businesses uh, will be able to accept light pay from anywhere in the world. So it says transactions will be super fast and allow UK based customers to pay for products and services in dollars with no transaction charges. Um, light pay takes Litecoin out of the cyber realm and places it squarely in real life by allowing businesses to accept payment in Litecoin from anywhere on earth. It says Litecoin wallet will will also be available for all major mobile wallet and desktop browsers and instant withdrawals from Visa compatible ATMs and spin with any Visa merchant will be possible. So this is huge. Um, basically what this is, these payments are instantaneous and it says it would allow businesses to accept Litecoin without worrying about price volatility. So as you know, a lot of businesses uh, worry about, you know, a payment being sent in cryptocurrencies and, you know, waiting you know, whether it's 30 minutes, an hour to get the payment and then the price is already changed um, because of the volatility in cryptocurrencies. And basically what it says here is, um, it says the best part is that Litecoin users will be able to convert Litecoins to dollars and vice versa through their Visa compatible LightPay cards, which will be usable at all ATMs or businesses that support Visa payments. So it's instantaneous and there's no transaction fees versus BitPay, which is charging about $5 for transaction fees and the transactions take a while to confirm. So um, this is big news. I mean, for businesses, basically, it gives businesses a reason to um, incorporate LightPay and accept, you know, Litecoin as a form of cryptocurrency because it automatically converts it to uh, fiat dollars. So I think this is huge for Litecoin. Um, you know, we've already seen this reflect in the price today, and I believe we'll definitely continue to see Litecoin um, continue to rise in the future and outperform because of this news. But um, yeah, that's the reason why Litecoin's been rising so much is because of this LightPay, and it will, um, you know, it will be. It was announced in December, but it will be implemented in the next couple of days. So uh, keep an eye on that because that's going to be some big news. And some other big news is actually came out about an hour ago. Is Canada approves the first blockchain ETF fund as Bitcoin price continues to tumble. So basically, what this is saying is. Um, it says Canada has approved its first blockchain exchange trading fund, which is set to launch on the Toronto Stock Exchange next week. So they applied. Um, it says the fund will invest in equity securities of issuers exposed directly or indirectly to the development and implementation of blockchain and distributed ledger technologies. Um, the independent Canadian investment management company filed the paperwork for its blockchain technology ETF in January as it seeks to provide Canadian investors an opportunity to invest in the blockchain tech sector. So really, it's not directly investing in Bitcoin, but it's investing in the blockchain tech sector. So almost like the S&P 500, think of that way. But um, I mean, this is big. So we've been talking about ETFs for a while now. And, you know, we already know futures were on the way um, and that already happened. But for Canada to start allowing ETF funds, 
um, that's big news. I mean, that's huge adoption and that's uh, great news for cryptocurrencies moving forward. And it says today the firm received approval for the Ontario Securities Commission. So um, it will aim to ensure ETF tracks blockchain technology projects in a bid to mirror its Harvest Blockchain Technologies Index. And then it says here two other Canadian companies, First Trust Portfolios Canada and Evolve Funds Group Inc. are also seeking to launch Bitcoin or to launch blockchain funds. So there's more companies that want to get in on this. And you know, you know, when one person leads, a lot of people follow. So expect a lot more companies in Canada to start launching uh, these blockchain ETF funds. And um, one of the reasons why they did it is they're talking about um, the ETF funds, uh, First Trust Portfolio in Canada said, every conversation we are having with clients, regardless if we are talking about a Canadian equities product or a US equity product, inevitably leads to a discussion about blockchain or Bitcoin. So everyone's talking about blockchain and everyone's mentioning Bitcoin and they're curious about it because they see it on the news all the time. And you know, eventually companies aren't gonna be able to ignore it for much longer and they're gonna have to create these ETFs for their investors and for their clients to be able to invest in this technology while also making it safe. Well, ETFs being one of the safest ways to invest. Um, so this is just you know great news. I couldn't believe this whenever I read it and it's so, so great to see you know, Canada leading the way on these ETFs and just, I look forward to, you know, the US and other countries adopting um, ETFs in the future. And, um, you know, there's already been talks of them. So I don't expect, um, you know, other countries to be far behind. So that's really, really good news. Um, some not so good news that I just wanted to share. I put in my live stream yesterday, but I just wanted to cover over this is uh, a couple credit card companies um, are actually declining crypto purchases. So if you've noticed that some of your purchases from like Coinbase or other, um, other ex exchanges are being declined by your credit card, then this may be the reason. So it says, after recent price drops, JP Morgan doesn't want credit risk. And it says, a growing number of US credit card issuers are deciding they don't want to finance a falling knife. JP Morgan and Bank of America and Citigroup said they're halting purchases of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies on their credit cards. Uh, JP Morgan enacting the ban Saturday doesn't want the credit risk associated with the, with the transactions. Company spokeswoman Mary Jane Rogers said, and then Bank of America started declining credit card transactions with known crypto exchanges on Friday. The policy applies to all personal and business credit cards. Um, it doesn't affect debit cards, said company spokesperson Betty Rice. And then it said in late Friday, Citigroup said it will too halt purchases of cryptocurrencies on its credit card. And it says we'll continue to review our policy as this market evolves. And then uh, if you scroll all the way down, it says... Um, it says right now that they're actually waiting um, to see what happens with the market before they actually, you know, uh, change their stance. And it says during an interview last month, noting that could change depending on customer demand. So basically, uh, you know, they're just scared uh, because the market's falling and you know they're panicking. But again, you know, as we already see, the market is you know having a reversal right now. So um, you know, I definitely see that. Um, these banks will, you know, lift these restrictions. And again, you know, if you're with these banks, um, you know, maybe look at getting a different credit card or just using the debit card and um, going that way, or even using PayPal to purchase. I think, I believe on, uh, I don't know if you can uh, purchase on uh, Coinbase. I believe you can only sell through PayPal, but, you know, finding other ways to be able to buy cryptocurrencies, then, um, you know, there's always ways to get around this. But yeah, I think it's just, these fear and they don't want you know so much risk basically for their uh because they're not sure if they're gonna get their money back if people use credit cards so again i mean it's i don't know i mean you know you can use credit cards to get cash advances at uh, casinos and stuff so i don't see why you know they aren't letting them for cryptocurrencies basically because they can't control it um i think that's one of the reasons so um just just you know keep that in mind uh if your credit cards are getting declined this may be the reason why so um and then another thing is, uh, this was a CNBC article, and now CNBC is looking more bullish on Bitcoin because of this recent rise we had. And it says, Bitcoin is bottoming, expect a 70% surge trader. So basically, uh, there's a guy here, analyst, he's talking about um, why he thinks you know Bitcoin is surged up 70%, up to $14,500 for the bounce. And basically, he says he's watching a key level, 86.50, and continue close above that could signal immediate upside potential. The next level of resistance is 10,000. And a break above that should bring further buying to the table, suggesting near-term upside of 14,500, a 70% jump from its current price. So basically, he says, you know, he believes we're witnessing a market cap rebalancing. 
um, which you know we discussed is healthy uh, for the market to retrace like it did after the parabolic rise it had. And he's saying, I, well, I expect Bitcoin to recover from this low. I believe there are cheaper and better technologies within the complex that are positioned for stronger gains. So basically saying, you know, altcoins tend to rise more uh, than Bitcoin, um, you know, on a one-to-one -one basis. So, um, and then here's, you know, a little poll it had, 6 7% are bullish, 33% are bearish. So, um, you know, well, again, this trader, I mean, you can't really take what he says at face value, but I want to focus on, you know, the positive news that CNBC is putting out now, kind of the trading, changing their tone of, you know, panic, panic, panic. So it's good to see they're putting out some uh, positive news for once, and it looks like we may be done with the FUD. I don't want to call that right now because some more may come out today. Who knows? But um, again, for the time being, it's good to see that uh, you know everything is kind of subsiding right now. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens with that. And again, you know, just watching the market and um, see if we uh, maintain at least above nine thousand. Um, or if we do decide to, uh, you know, go back down to this uh, eight thousand, nine thousand dollar trading range that we had. So, but uh, with that, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. Um, comment if you have any questions. And again, I want to thank everyone for subscribing. Uh, you know, I made my two thousand subscriber giveaway video last night, and um, you know, I just can't thank y'all enough. We're growing this channel like crazy. Uh, the crypto family just keeps growing more and more. So again, I want to thank y'all so much. Uh, appreciate every one of you. And until next time, thanks for watching.